I'm Miguel Betancourt. I'm professor at the University of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. Also, I was ex-international uh, basketball referee. Moreover, I'm president of the eSport Talent Canary Island. I would like to clarify some concepts. Uh, if we see in the history, uh, in the past we play, and finally we make a sport. In this century, also we play, but we play with the video game, like Homo Ludens and Homo de Sportivus. In this moment, we have gamer and professional people that are using video game, eSport. In both sides, they need professional and specialist to care these people. Doesn't matter if you practice traditional sport or you practice electronic sport. You need physical training, you need nutritionists, you need psychology people, etc. Very simple, play your life. If you play piano, you need physical activity. You are a doctor, you are a teacher, you need and you must make physical activity. If you want to be a good gamer or professional gamer, you must train your physical condition. It's very simple. It's like a um, typical life. The physical activity is part of your health and also in, internally in your profession. We are talking about um, professional players um, to have good training or which kind of training they need. First, we must clarify what means professional player. If you are professional, that means that you live in this way, in this profession. You need practice, you need uh, your preparation, like traditional sport. This is why if you play one kind of esport doesn't matter you use virtual reality or you use uh, another kind of video game or esport like uh, League of Legends or LOL. Uh, you need a specific preparation and also you need a specific program because depend which kind of esport you practice you have your specific training preparation and also your specific timeline during the day you need your physical training, you need your mental preparation, you need to analyze your performance every day like traditional sport. To be professional player or professional gamer is the key. If you decide to be professional, you must decide that you need a specific preparation. You need to concentrate in your physical activity, your physical trainer, you need mental skill, also you need social skill, and finally you need the traditional soft skill, communication, to be creative, problem solving, um, even you need how to react under pressure. This is the, the, the map of the professional player is not only physical activity, it's white map, white uh, map of education and training of this specific uh, esport player. At the end, or at the end of the day, if you want to be professional, you must focus in your global and wise preparation like a sportman. Regarding physical training and the physical activity uh, for gamer, um, I have very good experience in this year, in the last year. Um, in Spain, we uh, organized the Top Gamer Academy. It was a um, TV show. They concentrate for four or five weeks uh, different gamers. Some of them, they, they want to be professional players. Some of them, they want to be streamer. Uh, the other one they want to, to be programmer but they they living um, during four or five weeks in the academy uh, when they receive our module a specific uh, health and well-being for gamer and they realize the need of the physical preparation even we are talking about ergonomy how to care your body regarding um, your activity, 
uh, we are talking about nutrition. Uh, really, at the end of the session, we send everyone one guideline and they, they were very happy. Why? Because they realized the need. They realized that um, close to them, they must uh, be people that um, support his performance and his preparation. Yes, of course, but from my point of view, it's very important to have coach, not only personal trainer, because in professional condition, you, you need good balance between training and coaching. Because when, when you are player or you are gamer, you must use both sides. In the training, okay, you have a specific training, physically, mentally, but also it's very important how to, um, to mix this performance with your mental and personal performance. How to coach your problem, how to take your mistake and to convert this mistake in positive solution according to the competition. At the end of, the, of this comment, the, the idea is you have personal training, but also you need coaching that people coach you and make together in good way in order to have not only good, but also professional um, performance. I would like to, to clarify, to explain to you um, very happy anecdote. Uh, two years ago, um, the deaf people, the association of the deaf people come to me and said, look, my people in the foundation, they want to play video game. What to do? And I said, okay, very simple. We create the team. And after that, they will play with everyone. This for me was a great experience. They create the first eSport deaf club relating eSport. It was fantastic because they play, and at the end of the day, these people play in an inclusive way. Everyone can participate. This is for me great advantage for the eSport and um, video game culture, the gaming culture. Everyone can play, everyone come not only play, but also to participate together in one sport or electronic sport.